Dear older generations, we can see there's a bit of confusion to what us millennial travelers are all about. So here's a message to you that may help. And we should start by saying, we're sorry. Sorry for being unable to sit still in an office. We fail to see the difference between working on a laptop in a cubicle or on a beach in Indonesia. Either way, the work will be done and on time. Otherwise, you have the right to fire us. We are digital nomads, and the entire world is our workspace, our classroom, our playground, and our home. The cubicle is a wooden box. Sorry for not buying into the whole society expectation of a mortgage, a family, and kids. Without a doubt, these things will be great experiences. But so is swimming with sharks in South Africa, dancing with tribes in Papua New Guinea, and tobogganing down a volcano in Nicaragua. You may call these desires selfish, but we believe that being in a relationship or raising kids while regretting not doing all these things is also selfish. Why surround the people we love with our own pain and grief? Call us entitled, privileged, or whatever names you want, but excuse us for ignoring you and proceeding forward. It's our mission to have racism, prejudice, and discrimination fade away into the history books where it belongs. Sorry if we don't support wars or act with anger and hatred. We fail to see how using the things we hope to abolish can do any good. Instead, we love and move forward. Sorry if we keep saying we can change the world. We have all information at our fingertips and get answers within milliseconds. 3.4 billion people are online and only an email, tweet, or Facebook message away. It's hard to pass on this opportunity. We know you can also see the opportunity, but may feel too old or poor to do something about it, when really you do have a choice. And if you can't see this opportunity, that's a problem in itself. Sorry for not seeing the value of paying $30,000 a year to sit in a century-old lecture hall and learn about things that are free online. Even though they're free, we're still not interested in them. Which is why we need to discover our passions and interests. And the only way we know how to do that is to travel. So that's where we invest our money. Sorry if we take photos and videos of everything we do and share with our friends online. It was someone's post and words of encouragement that gave us the strength to follow our passions in the first place. So we're kind of this massive community in support of following dreams and overcoming fears. We believe there's a difference between living and merely existing. But there isn't much difference between merely existing and death. So for that reason, we choose to live. With much love, Millennial Travelers. <laughs>